Today is Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. We're in uh, central northern Greece. There's a couple towns near these uh, monasteries that are on top of these rocks here in central northern Greece. It's called Meteora and it's they're all Eastern Orthodox monasteries. We came here yesterday from Yanina, which is the capital of the region called Yanina. Pretty big town, 120,000-ish people. And we came here to this little town, actually a couple little towns, surrounded by these rocks. Really cool, we're gonna go check out the, uh, the monasteries today. But yesterday we drove, how long did we drive? We drove for like three, four hours. That was only 45 miles. It wasn't very far. We took the long way to get here, meaning uh, off highway, through little villages, over mountain passes. Greece is interesting. Greece is like 80% mountains. So there's not a lot of flat ground. So when you drive across Greece, you're driving across lots and lots of mountains. Or you take the highway, which has toll. I don't know, we haven't been through a toll yet because we've been opting to uh, take these smaller roads that go over mountains instead of through mountains. Hey, this is the little pug that lives at this campground. <laughs> hi, little pug. Say hi. Are you, are you trying to eat the camera? Egg. Yeah, I dropped some eggs over there. Come here. Come eat the eggs over here. Yeah, we got up pretty high in elevation. We got up to over 4,000 feet. Definitely above the snow line here. And through most of our drive, we had snow on the side of the road. We pulled over at one point so the kids can play in the snow. It was the most snow they've seen on this trip for sure. It may even be the most snow Luca's ever seen in his life. They, again, they love the idea of snow. Not so much the being cold and being wet. They did play for what seemed like forever in the snow during our drive. We pulled over and just hung out. And they use their jackets as uh, sleds. To slide down these hills. We're at this campground, totally off season again. Most we've paid so far for a campground. It was 25 euros. And that didn't even give us any any hookups. They wanted five more euros for electricity. And that's because these are the kind of places that nickel and dime you with the people. You pay for your camper, you pay for the camping, which includes a couple adults, and then any additional people after that, you pay. So we were supposed to pay for like three kids, but you know, he gave us one of the kids for free. This yeah. is Squishy Face. Squishy Face. Hi, Squishy Face. What about the cat? Where's the cat? That, her name is oh Fish. This is Fish. Why is he Fish? Because. I don't know, we don't know. It likes Fish. Because no. she looks like a Sit. fish. Well, that cat was like sniffing while the dog was sniffing, and the cat another cat. Where? Where? Cat. That's uh, what happened in the last 24 hours or so. We drove. We got here. We're in a pretty cool place. Let me just show you. Check it out. This is called Meteora. I don't know if you can see. There's like a little building on the top of that rock, halfway in the middle. There's monastery on the top there. There's another monastery behind there. You can't really see, but it's back there. There's monasteries back over there. You can see some snow up there. So, yeah, a little bit more exploring today. I'm gonna see how we get up there.
this overlook where people stop to take pictures. Clearly we're here with a bunch of other people also taking pictures. Check it out. You didn't always have roads like this going up there. I know. Can you believe it? You knew? Yeah. How did you know? Because mm -hmm. that's how they get oh in between. I told you there was a yeah. rope with like yes. a little basket and they go in between. They go in a basket? Yeah. I thought they deliver the food. Picture. People too. Okay, that was our first stop. I can't imagine what this place is like in the summer when it's really crowded. The caves around Metaora have been inhabited for over 50,000 years. When exactly these Eastern Orthodox monasteries were built is not exactly known. But around 1200 AD, rudimentary monasteries began cropping up on top of these rock formations. During the 14th century rule by the Byzantine Empire, the Orthodox monks found these pillars of rock a safe refuge from the invading Turkish raiders. Twenty-four total monasteries were built here in Midora, and only six of them remain today. Pants or long skirts are required attire for anyone entering the monasteries. Photographs or videos are forbidden inside the church, but allowed elsewhere on the premises. Inside the church, paintings and frescoes cover nearly every square inch of the walls and ceilings, depicting scenes from Christianity. You can visit all six monasteries, but we were satisfied after seeing just one.
We planned to drive further east today until we reached the Aegean Sea. We ended up at a spot called Scotina Beach. Scotina Beach is clearly a summer's only spot. The campground at the end of the road is still shuttered and no one is around. Locals didn't seem to care that we set up for the night right at the edge of the beach. This little stray pup we named Flan. He was timid at first, but warmed up to us pretty quickly. He was really sweet, and we gave him our leftover dinner and some water with Yoda's old food bowl. Flan slept under our van all night long and barked at anything that came near us. You're a good puppy dog. You're a good puppy dog. This is our first sight of the Aegean Sea before continuing north tomorrow to the second largest city in Greece, Thessaloniki. He's gonna dig you out. Oh, there's a cat running on the beach. Hey. Thanks for continuing to follow our adventures. If you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more adventures to come. I'll see you guys in the next video.